What's up, guys? Hey, we're back. Day two. Day two. Yesterday was day one, which was Sunday. It was our first time. It was good. It was. Good job. Um, that I think that was a first for most of us. I mean, we had never, we had never streamed online before. We had never done any of our our kids services online. So that was the first. It's pretty cool. It was weird, but yeah, we liked cool. it. Still got to hang out with you. Yeah. Digitally. Hey, so this is day two, and you know, once I think once we get to day three, we gotta have a name for this thing. Oh boy, that's a lot of pressure. Well, I mean, tomorrow. Yeah, we need a name. That's tomorrow. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I had a couple ideas. I don't think they're gonna work though. Tell me. Um, let's see. More than a snow day. More than a snow day. I mean, because it is. For this video series, more than... Yeah, it's more than a snow day. Hold on, try it. Hello, and welcome to More Than a Snow snow Day. day. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I only had two ideas. Okay. Um, Pandemic playtime. No? Probably not. No? I mean, because... They could probably come up with a better one, though. Yeah. They're super creative. They can come up with a great name for this video series. This is a place where you can hang out for maybe, like... 15 minutes when you need a break, you're like, I've done enough schoolwork. Yep. Um, mom needs a break from me. <laughs> uh, let's let's Dad, go watch <laughs> the pit. No, we can't no, call yeah, it that. We got to call it and something, it's, though. It's not really playtime. Yeah. I mean, we're learning. Well, we're, we're going to play some games. We are. We are. But it's not just playtime. Okay. So we need a better name. Y'all need y'all need to help us with that. Um, where? How could they send us those? They can that? email it. Yeah. I guess. Uh, your email is... A Brooks. A, a Brooks. A B R O O K S at SoHillsCC.com. And I'm C Jones at SoHillsCC.com. Yep. So you can email us those. And speaking of that, uh, this is going to be a lot of work coming up with these daily videos. Yeah. And we thought that uh, we have some super talented kids, some great small group leaders that might be able to send in oh, some yeah. of their own videos. Yeah. And so maybe if you have a story about forgiveness, um, examples of how forgiveness matters. Maybe even just you're like, man, this was really cool. I want to do a little show and tell. Yep. Then send us a video. Send us a link. We would love to put it into our whatever this yeah, is whatever called. The, you guys got to name it. Not pandemic playtime. It. It's not that. No, definitely not. Uh, you can also just check out the So Hills Kids Facebook page and send us information yep. there if you're like, yeah, uh, email. I don't, I don't know about that. All right, so let's just jump into our first video then. I think it's gonna be a good one. Let's check it out. Hey peeps, I'm Erica, and I'm happy to welcome you to my home sweet home, Fixer Upper. (gasps) Today, we're talking about two things. Number one, forgiveness. Forgiveness is deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. And number two, paint! As you can see on my ceiling, there are marks from previous residents that could definitely use some cover up. How did they, how did they get that up there? Anyway, I guess they're working on their kickboxing. (laughs) My landlord, Miss Watson, hired someone to paint the place. He was supposed to be here last Wednesday, and then last Friday, and then yesterday. Three no-shows. Now I could get really mad at that unreliable painter guy, or I could do the painting myself. So, first step, painter's tape, painter's tape, painter's tape, painter's tape. Applying painter's tape is important because it helps keep the paint off the places you don't want paint. Don't worry, it's quick and paintless. (laughs) Paintless. Let's do it. All right. I just... Why do they make these things so... Oh! Oh! oh. (laughs) It's a close one! Wait! Oh no! showed up like he was oh, supposed to. But I guess I'll forgive him. As long as he apologizes first. And as long as he paints my apartment free of charge. And pays for my doctor's visit. It's up to him to make it right. Or, as you'll see in today's story, it could be that the first step in forgiveness is up to me. I think I'm gonna need a do-it-yourself sling for my arm. First step, painter's tape. Bye. 
Hey, I asked my buddy Tyler if he would post a video, and here is what he has to say. Hey, church family. It's Tyler Woodard here checking in. Just wanted to remind you that the word of the month is forgiveness, deciding that someone who has hurt you doesn't have to pay. So when your little brother or big brother or sister, they get mad at you, or even your parents, or you get mad at them, just remember that forgiveness is the key, especially as we're stuck at home these next couple weeks. Um, I can imagine that a lot of forgiving will be happening. So have a good time at home. Try to get outside when it's nice and enjoy what you can and make the most of this moment. See you guys next time. So, about to play a game. Who wants to play a game? I do, yeah. But this game is, it's, it's kind of risky. Okay. There's some, there's some cats involved. Risky cats, like if you have allergies. No, no, it's all it's on a video. This is nailed it or felled it cat edition. So you might see you might see a cat jump from a window and it'll pause. The video will pause. It, it will pause. Oh, I see what you did there. No. So when it pauses, what do we do? You you say you say if you is it, did he nail it? Did he make the jump or did he fail it and did he come crashing down? Oh. But and then just keep up with what? how many you got right. These are cats. Yeah. So they're going to land on their feet. Right. That doesn't count as the nailed it or failed it part. You'll see. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Keep track. See how many you can get right. Maybe you'll win. A prize? A cat? A cat. Nope. No cats. All right. Check out these videos. Yep. I want a cat.
how'd you do? How many cats made it? Nailed it. No, not made it. Nailed it. How many cats nailed it? How many cats failed it? I, I didn't do too good. Yeah. Maybe you did. I think all cats fail, but that's just me. <laughs> Make it or break it. Dog edition? Yes. We should do that. No, that would be dangerous. Um, let's go into our next video. Okay. <laughs> Painter's tape can solve so many problems, people. Forgiveness can too. In fact, Jesus said you should make things right with other people before you make things right with God. Let me explain. When people turned away from God in the beginning, their relationship with him was broken. The only way they could make things right with God was to sacrifice animals at the temple. All that changed when God sent Jesus. Jesus sacrificed his own life to make things right with God for us. We didn't have to earn it. We didn't have to pay for it. Jesus took the first step. That's what we need to do when someone has done or said something that hurts us or makes us mad. We need to take the first step to forgive. And quickly, because the longer you wait, the harder it gets to make things right. So here's the one thing to remember today. Take the first step to forgive others. Sometimes forgiveness is quick and painless. Sometimes, you're going to need to ask God to help you forgive. But no matter what, it's up to you to choose to forgive the other person and wipe the slate clean. Ah, that was way easier than painting. This is fun. Until next time. Hey, so that's today's episode of whatever you name it. You need to name what this we show is called. So send us an email, jump on Facebook, do whatever you need to do. Let us know your ideas. Send us some of your videos. All month we're talking about forgiveness. Yep. And what is forgiveness, Andrew? It is deciding that someone who has wronged you does not have to pay. Look at him. He's catching on so quick. Mm. All right, so we'll see you tomorrow on YouTube. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, you want me in?